It's so nice. Oh, no, it's not. El Toro. Because sit back. Naito is like having the cob, but like it has to be. No, I actually like Medusa. Oh, no. It's right by the star. Alright, let's go. Superman hurts. Well, 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 I don't think so. Superman hurts. It hurts my chest. No, El Toro hurts. He's so rickety. El Toro gives me a headache. El Toro gives me a headache. It's, 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 it's actually like pretty smooth for a uh, wooden Alright, alright, alright. Right, right. What type of energy does it have up there? Potential. Potential. Now it has kinetic. Kinetic. Thank you. Now let's listen. Let's listen. Going on the bottom. Kinetic's being converted into potential. I want to see a loop here. No, up is the top of the hill. Why does putting your hands over your head make for a better ride? Or more exciting? Because it gives you adrenaline, because you feel like you're not holding on to No, no, no. If you were not, didn't have your hands over your head, what would you be doing with your hands? Holding on. Holding on, therefore pushing your seat back into uh, the chair. Then you're getting more lift. Without hands. You're going to feel the feeling of what more? Flying. Weightlessness or flying. You're going to, your butt's going to come off the chair more, right? If your hands are up. That's why. Okay. So we're going to go over the preliminary stuff. You guys know this by heart. But let's make sure everyone's on the same page. Sure. But now instead of another hill over here or um, um, a drop, we're going to put a, a 360 loop. So we have height here and we have our card up here. Agreed? Yes. What kind of energy does it have up there? We're on film, by the way, so I want you guys to look right. impressive and sound impressive. Potential. What type of energy do we have up there? Potential. Potential, Potential means it's not going to come over. So it's got? Both. Both. P, E, and K. Absolutely. Oh, we did this at the like, beginning of the year. Beginning of the year. This is great. Here we're going to lose a little energy, yes? Yes. But all that PE and KE gets converted into KE -E. -E on the bottom. Yeah. Then it crosses a rough street. What kind of energy do we lose here? Yeah. Ugly letters. Yeah. Um, good good um, good U. M G D. And what's that stand for? Uh, friction equals Unit mass friction. Times gravity. Friction coefficient. Mass. Mass. Gravity. Earth sea level, what number? 9.8. And the distance, that'll give us, and by the way, what is energy measured in, in the MKS system? Joules. Joules. Absolutely. So that'll give us the joules that are torn up between here and here. Now it does a loop. Down here, what do I got? Kinetic potential, both and neither. Kinetic. Uh, kinetic. kinetic. Up here, and the track is on the outside, so the cart looks like this. Kinetic. What do I have up here? Potential. Potential, potential and kinetic. It should do what as it gets to the top of that uh, 360? Slow down. Slow down. Because some of the energy down here went into well, potential. So there's no, there's no fun in potential energy, right? All the fun is in kinetic energy. So that should slow down when it's at the top of the hill. Then it comes over here and it regains its kinetic energy, zero potential energy, maximum kinetic, and then shoots straight out. Yes. Agreed? Yes. That, those are the... Uh, those are the fundamentals. How do good engineers uh, offset that, circumvent it? Tiny radius at the top. They make this loop look something like that. I have a smaller radius here at the top and a pretty big radius there. As a consequence, what happens to my velocity at the top? It might actually increase. It, it picks up speed. It does pick up speed and it offsets the loss of speed due to MGH. Okay, and why is that the case? Circular motion, AC equals? MV squared over R. AC does not equal MV squared over R. AC equals just V squared over R. Centripetal force equals MV squared over R. So V squared over R, the R's decreasing inversely related to the uh, centripetal acceleration, therefore the velocity's got to pick up. All right, so we are. Uh, we lose velocity due to potential energy and kinetic energy uh, uh, switch. But we pick up energy by making that a small radius, and we pick it up because of AC equals V squared over R. Alright, you're saying that in a perfectly round circular loop, yes. it would require more force for, for that roller coaster to complete the loop. Therefore, while it's, com while it's uh, using more force and you're uh, in a circular down. loop, it's also stressing on the people that ride the 
that are on the roller coaster. You're on to something. That's what that's what would uh, hurt the people's mess. You're on to something the, with the smaller one with the cloth. A very Ramon, I owe you donuts, Ramon. Are you saying? Can I put this in my words and you tell me if you agree? All right, go. Yes. Up say here yes. you got a yes. <laughs> <laughs> up here you got a smaller radius. Yes. Therefore, this is going to increase. Yes. Then I can go to Newton number two, and I know you didn't say this, but I think this is what a good physicist would say. Okay. F equals m a. So the a is increasing because that's decreasing. Yeah. So if the a increases, uh, force the force, force must increase. Oh. That could snap your neck. Increase, yes. Is that what you were saying to tell me the truth? Uh, absolutely. Well, then I congratulate you. That's a good observation. Donuts. That's an ex. I said Ramon gets it done. No. <laughs> That's a good observation. Yes. But we're all thinking that. that. You were all thinking that. My box is here. What are my two, four, three forces? Uh, M G N N. Normal is straight. The point of force going up. Okay. Normal is straight up. M G is straight down. We're coming this way. Friction is that. Let's just look at the y direction. Up here, what do we got? Normal and mg going down. Normal and mg going down. Where is my greater centripetal force, top or bottom? The top. Top because it's got to, it's going to equal n plus mg. My centripetal force down here could be zero. Could be zero if they're equal to each other, and that does make sense, doesn't it? Because right there, I'm not changing direction. Right? I came off the hill, I'm coming this way. I'm really not, ch uh, you know, other than the fact that there may be bumps in the track, I'm really not changing direction. I'm not part in my circle, so my FC can be zero. Normal could equal MG. But as I come up this hill, let's say I'm right here, now what's my uh, centripetal force? What are the forces on this? MG. Normal is pointing directly? Left, left. Right? West to the center, right? Down. And where's MG? Down. Straight down. Then you have friction. Oh, you got friction going this way. Agreed? That's but the your point. centripetal force is greater here than here because you got to point it back to the center. And centripetal force here is going to be normal plus, plus MG. Does that make sense? Yeah. That centripetal force and centripetal acceleration is only changing direction. It's not doing anything to the speed. One second, check. It's not doing anything to the speed. What can we say about the acceleration through the whole trip, though? It is constant? It's changing. It's Very constantly changing. It's constantly changing. And we have two accelerations. We've got AC pointing to the center, which we're very used to because FC equals MAC. But we have another acceleration that is tangential, Kenny. And that is going to be called, and we spend no time on this. A sub T. That's going to be up A sub T. That's tangential uh, acceleration. All right? And in high school and in early college, they don't spend a lot of time on this. The only accelerations you're really concerned about are free fall 9.8. No acceleration and constant acceleration. Okay? It, it, high school, early college, they really don't spend a lot of time on AT. But then when you get more advanced, uh, and believe me, I never got there, when you get more advanced into engineering and physics, you start talking about that tangential uh, acceleration, which becomes very important. This is what is picking up the speed, and the thing pointing to the center, the AC, which we're used to, is what's changing the direction and pointing it back to the center. All right, so now we're talking about two different accelerations, something pointing to the center and something pointing tangential to the motion. And it, they're, they're both constantly changing. That AC is constantly pointing to the center, constantly changing, and that AT is constantly changing because you're, well, the, what's changing more, the AC or the AT? The AC. The AC is constantly, every millisecond is changing, pulling you to the center, making a nice circle or, or a clothoid. But the AT, the velocity is staying pretty constant because we changed the shape of this. We changed the shape of this, therefore we're trading off the velocity.